Oh, hat dogs. Man, this is really cool. I am so excited. All five of these have finally arrived. I purchased from three different sellers on eBay. Um, they paid, I paid about $40 on average for these. You can find them right now on eBay for 35 to 45 bucks. They are very, very rare because they're not really coming out until March. And the only time you can open them uh, is at any Magic Fest or con Mag MTG convention. They will be having them. But until then, until March at least, that's where you can get your hands on them. And there's not too many of those um, before March uh, of the actual actual release of these of this product what is inside of them we're gonna find out um if you haven't seen this stuff yet man this is really really cool really excited to open these it, it took a while for them to get shipped out to me uh from after richmond convention center but we finally got our hands on them let's see what we pull out of these this is really cool hope you guys enjoy oh boy Really cool. Also, uh, just as like a bonus, I'm just going to uh, crack open one of these standard showdown Ravnica Allegiance packs, but this is really, really neato. Again, these are not cheap, man. All right, let's just let's just do this. Oh, boy. All right. Whew. Now, are they going to be including um, as well in these packs um, come March is my question. Will they also be including the... Um, Wow, what are they called? Um, ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. I hate when that happens. These right here. <laughs> Command the Chef. What? what? Will they be including um, these test print cards uh, as well? That's a question I wasn't sure about. Not for constructed play. But uh, yeah, Command the Chef for six. Instant. Look at target opponent's sideboard. You may cast a card from that sideboard without playing its without paying its mana cost. Exile card name. Wow, that is pretty ridiculous, there, my friends. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to find prices on these. Um, it's gonna be hard because there's not many out there. So do keep that in mind. And then it looks like we got from Amonkhet uh, the Gust Walker, pretty legit. Then we got Core uh, Hookmaster from Eternal Masters. Notice the symbol right here is different um that's the oh, that's the only difference you'll see like here's the eternal master symbol and then there is the magic the gathering logo right there that's the only thing that really separates this from the original even i mean even look 2016 they even had the data on there from eternal masters printing so oh cool an uncommon just popped up out at us <laughs> circular logic counter target spell unless its controller pays one for each card in your graveyard what the madness who remembers madness um, been around for a while, though, but if you discard this card, discard into exile when you do cast it for its madness cost or put it into your graveyard. Really neat. That's from Ultimate Masters. It's a reprinting of another card or another time. Who can tell me what that's, uh, what the original set is, though? Circular Logic, pretty cool. Exclude. There we go. Here's some more, um, not even more recent, but you got Exclude Counter Target Spell. Draw a card. I don't have time for you right now, Tafiri. Yeah, that's how I felt uh, in the last standard. Uh, crikey. Really, really neat. That artwork's really cool as well. Um, this is from Modern Horizons. Um, it was printed before that, of course. Really neat, really neat. Flesh to dust. Oh, yes, the flesh to dust, my friends. Destroy how a creature can't be regenerated. Le legit. That's from Origins, I believe. See how good Joey Moss is uh, at all these set symbols. That's a good one for me. Uh, we're testing ourselves. Wind Grace Acolytes. There you go. From Dominaria. So they just make a huge mix of all these cards. That's Ixalan. Really, really cool. Um, with the haste action on it. Oh, Gut Shot. That's nice. Gut Shot deals one damage to target creature or player. Ba Boosh. Really cool. This sees no play anywhere. No, this is a really, really cool card. <laughs> Very cool card. Gut Shot's great. Phyrexian Mana. You don't see that every day. Hopefully they bring that back. You guys think they will bring, bring back Phyrexian Mana? I hope they do. Really neato. Uh, that's our Masters tw uh, 2015, by the way. Uh, Seal of Strength, another Eternal Masters card for us. Pretty cool. Then we have Explore. Ah, that one got me. I don't remember that set symbol. That one stumped me. Oh, the old stump of root. I was just looking at this one today, too. Not this card, but that set symbol on TCG Player. Then we, And that's where I use all my prices, by the way. That's how we get the pricing for these. Um, but this one, I might have to do eBay for some of these, like Command the Shaft. Soul Manipulation. There you go. Love the artwork on this card. It reminds me... Uh, this is Master, uh, Modern Masters 2017. It reminds me of... Um, the Lightning Dragon. That's my favorite card art ever. 
is Lightning Dragon from Urza Saga. Just breath. I love that art. It's so cool. I want to get a tattoo of that on me, but I'm not sure where to put it or how it would look. But really, really neat. Uh, so Manipulation is a great card. Crystal Chimes. Uh, that's from like a 2015. That's 2015 Commander, obviously. It says 2015 on there. Really cool. Not bad at all. We'll take it. We will take it. Next we got... Oh, a Lotus Petal! Reprint from Tempest. That is a nice little pool there. And that brings back some memories. Holy crap, man. Oh, I'm loving these. Oh, man, the excitement. Uh, tap it. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source. Do you know the last time I saw a Lotus Petal was the last time I opened one in Tempest? Because I did take a while. Um, I, I took a break or a leave from Magic the Gathering for about... 12, 13 years, like a hiatus. And then I came back about three, four years ago. Um, but wow, that is really, really cool to see this card. Um, and it's, it's, it just reminded me of when I first pulled it for you know back in the day. That is so neat. Really cool card. Oh, and a Supreme Verdict. Nice. We'll take it. School right there. This card's been really hot lately because of Pioneer. Um, it was at like $2. And this is one card I'm kicking myself right now for not investing a little bit of money in. You know, or at least like buying like 10 copies because I was looking at it when it was like $1.50 for the longest time. And I'm like, why is this card so gosh darn cheap? You know, it was like within a few months of uh, uh, Iconic Masters right here after it was reprinted. And I'm like, why is this card so friggin' cheap? I need to get my hands on like at least 10, 20 copies, you know, something. Because it's going to go up. And now, sure enough, it's at like 10 bucks unbelievable stuff Ooh, that was really cool that first pack man Ooh, that'll get you going that'll wake you up in the morning boy <laughs> the irishman we have an inspirational antelope yeah but can you defeat uh, uh the, the elk master can you do that mr antelope can you take out the oak master i don't think you can creature antelope for deuce uh legacy tap before the game starts Choose a keyword or ability word and write it below. Spells with whatever that may be. You cast cost one less to cast. One, three. That is an inspirational antelope. Tell me what inspires you guys out there. Very interested here. My inspiration? My, my children. They're beautiful. All right, so that was amazing. Um, that's probably worth nothing, though. So the, the command the shaft. The command the shaft might be worth something pretty cool, though. I'm going to look these up. I'll try to get an idea of the value. Uh, this is from uh, uh, Kaladesh right here, uh, the trail. This, oh, this one's going to get me too. Oh, it's going to tip my tongue. It's like one of those um, Eldrazi maybe or something like that. Yeah, sure. Knight of the Cliffhaven. Level up abilities on the card. Pretty neat stuff there. I will take that. That's pretty cool. Scroll Thief. Scroll Thief um, from the Goblins versus Merfolks. Ooh, 2017. Bam! Yeah, you would never have guessed that. Joey Moss, your skills are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. Then we have Tidal Wave from Eternal Masters. Pretty legit right there. I like how everything's just completely random. Uh, I do love that. 2015 Masters. Cool, cool. Instill infection. I'm getting over being having the flu. By the way, guys, um, today, not doing the live stream. I'm sorry. The live stream is going to be postponed until next week. Um, not next week, until uh, Tuesday. But I will be officially doing it on Tuesday. Cranko's Enforcer, and that'll be at, it'll be kicking off, I'd say, 7 p.m., and we're going to rock it all the way until, like, 10, 11 o'clock, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So there you go. 2015, Skirk Commando. I've been Commando a few times in my day. The cards are slipping. Titanic Growth, really cool card. Nice little pump action. And we got Kroos and Tusker. There you go. That thing's nasty, huh? Get a load of him. <laughs> Waking up to that in the morning. We got Dominaria uh, Raph Capuchon over here. Showing up. All this beautiness. Akum Refuge. Haven't seen that in forever. Enters the battlefield. Tapped. Uh, when Akum Refuge enters the battlefield, you gain one life. There you go. Nothing too insane, but pretty cool. Contag Contagion Clasp from Meridian. Pretty legit. Scars of Meridian. Sorry, my friends. Uh, pretty legit. We're proliferate mechanic and built into it. That is pretty cool. I'm liking it. And Fibble the Lost. Totally got blasted with value on that one. Wow. Oof, that one hurt. <sighs> it's all right. I did it just not to make money off of these or get value back off of it, but just to share it with all you guys. I think it's really neat. It's a very rare experience, and I just want to uh, enjoy it with everyone. So, yeah. 
If you guys had the opportunity to open these, let me know about it. Um, and uh, what are your thoughts on these? I mean, these are going to be going around. These are the big mystery packs, man. They're going to be in every LGS, uh, probably in Walmarts left and right, you know. Very, very cool. So let me know. I'm going to put this in the back this time. Doing things different. Boom. We got Leonin Relic uh, Warder. There you have it. Pretty cool. And we got Humble. All right. Eternal Masters. Glint from uh, Dragons of Tarkir. Eldritch Moon and Lightened Maniac. I like how the sets are just from all over the place. Like, I think that's really neato. Uh, Origins is here. Kaladesh showing up yet again. Eternal Masters, Kiln Fiend. Really coolest card came back. I have a turn three uh, deck I built that's budget. You could build it for like under 40 bucks. Uh, it's good in modern. And I think some of it might even be good in Pioneer. I mean, I'm sure I can change it around for Pioneer. Uh, but yeah, give that a look. Turn three win. Bad Boy Gaming. There you go. Kiln Fiend, fun stuff. Uh, on Crop Crasher from good old Amon Cat. And then Dragons of Tarkir Boys back again. Dragon Scarred Bear. Ivy Lane Denizen, that one got me, no idea. Ooh, Skyward Eye Profits. That's from one of those Commander sets, 2017. Pretty legit. Love the art on that one. Very, very cool. Copper Carapace. Ooh, 2015 Masters, yet again. And what's going to be the other one? Another Lotus Petal. Very interesting. Pulled two. I'm not complaining. Lotus Petal is a great card. Uh, very good card. Value's not even that terrible on these. Really, really legit. All right, we'll take it. Two Lotus Petals. Oh, Anna Marsol. Man, that was a good pack. Anna Marsol of Elements from 25. Wow. Oh, man. I think the first one of these came from uh, Commander, uh, from a Commander set. I could be mistaken on that one, but wow, what a good pool, huh? Not bad at all. We will take that. Didn't get my money back. Don't even care, though. That's just really neat. And then we got Impatient Iguana. The Impatient Iguana. By the way, these are not stickers. These are actually on the card. That is correct. These are on the card. Uh, what does he do? Lizard Wizard. If card name is in your opening hand and you're not the starting player, you may reveal it. If you do, you become the starting player. With haste. There you go. Pretty cool. But man, that pool right there. All right, man. That is neato. I'm just so excited. I love opening stuff. I don't know about you guys, but man, I just get so excited opening Magic the Gathering packs. Oh man, I love it, I love it. Especially the rare stuff like this. This is cool. Alright, we're going to do this. The old trick, it's like a Pokemon pack. Look at that. Put the energy in the back. Love this card. I, I've used this in, uh, I think my turn turn two, um, turn two wins. Yeah, in my turn two Infect deck. Check that out for Modern, turn two Infect wins. It's budget friendly too. It's like, I think 30 or 40 bucks. Really cheap. Really cool Apostle's Blessing. Love it. And then we have Mr. Avon P Battle Priest from Origins. Uh, Jotai's Breath. Love the, uh, the, the, uh, the Ice Dragon, though. I wish he was more powerful. He's not bad um, from Dragons of Turk here. Aether Snipe, great little common there. Really cool, really cool. Glad to see that. Crackling Imp in all of its uh, crackingness. All right. Target player loses one life just by tapping it. It's four to bring out, though. It's kind of pricey. Oh, that looks like one of my exes. Oh, she was so cute. Hmm. Then we have Noxious Dragon all up in here. Cool art on that one as well. Pretty neato. I do like that. All right. Bloodstone Goblin. All right, all right. What else? Get to the good stuff. Undying Rage from Eternal Masters. Quiet Disrepair. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. What set is that from? Oh, that's something else. I'm, I'm not sure on that one either. Dragons of Tarkir, Guardian Shield Bearer. Pretty cool with the Megamorph abilities. Legit. Naya Charm. All right. From Commander. Now, 2016. Legit. Loving it. Great art on that one. I mean, it's, 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 it's basic but peaceful. It's like it's tra tranquil, you know? Ashnod's Altar. Another pretty good card. Oof. They did really good in the uncommon slot. Sacrifice a creature, add two colorless to your mana pool. Very, very cool card from uh, Eternal Masters. Not bad. Dark Steel Garrison. Whoa! Get a load of that from Future Sight. You don't see these every day. Could have been a Tarmogoyf. Would have been nuts. Dark Steel Garrison. Fortified land is destru indestructible. Whenever fortified land becomes tapped, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. 
Fortify for three. For three, attach to target land you control. Fortify only as a sorcery. This card becomes in, uh, this card comes into play unattached and stays in play if the land leaves play. Very interesting card there, to say the least. Whelming Wave. More like, uh, that just hurt. Ripped my heart out, stepped all over it right there. Uh, underwhelming wave, more like it. Uh, return all creatures to their owner's hand, except for Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, and Serpents. It's actually not a bad card. Pretty powerful, to say the least. What is this? Look at this guy. Clip, uh, cl- Cyclo- Cyclopene Titan, sorry. That was terrible. Cyclopene Titan. All right, what does he do? G- a zombie Giant. Look at that devotion, though. Four, uh, four black man. I'm four colorless. Zombie Giant. When, um, whatever, when, when, this, when this dude dies, two target lands become swamps. Oh, exile card name. For three, tap it. Tap target creature. Tap target creature. Then return... Uh, blank to its owner's hand. Wow. So there's still some more stuff on this card. That's really neat. Very cool card. Cyclopene Titan. Test print card. I wonder the value on that guy. All right, we got one last pack to crack, guys. One last pack to crack. What's it gonna be, Joey? Oh, man. Thanks for tuning in for this long. If you guys are st- stuck with this entire video, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, and definitely, if you enjoy that I put the prices in the video, make sure you take a moment, hit the like button, and give me a, about a year to open this pack. Uh, I, I do appreciate that, though. All right, and it lets me know you guys enjoy what you're watching, that's all. All right, this is going, wait, you're here, so you gotta go here. Boosh, test print in the back. Some of these test prints can be worth a lot of money. Uh, Ninth Bridge Patrol from Kaladesh. All right, there we go. And we got, uh, Built to Last. Another Kaladesh. Ooh, Laboratory Maniac. Great card from Ultimate Masters. Uh, definitely was a reprint from back in the day. Very, very cool card indeed. Powerful. Propaganda. Love the art on this one. Love it. Everyone's just like brainwashed right here. Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature you are. She controls that's attacking you. Legit. And we got Marauding uh, Bone Slasher. And the Minotaur action all day right there from Hour of Devastation. Pretty cool. I'm liking it. Black Cat. Meow. All right, that's all you get. Impact Tremors. <laughs> Dragon's Attack here. Wildfire Emissary. Cool card. Pierce the Sky from Dominaria. Relic Crush. I'm loving it, babe. And, ooh, Slave of Bolas. One. Another one of my favorite artworks. That is really breathtaking. I love that. I love the art on that. That's it. That is so gorgeous. Just get a look at that, man. That is just really cool. Really cool. Fine detail. Loving that art on there. Gain control of target creature. Untap that creature. Gains haste and turn sacrifices at the beginning of the next end step. Really, really cool art on that. Renegade map from Kaladesh. Interesting to see that in that slot. All right. Renegade map. Or I'm sorry, from Aether Revolt. Dolem Gate. What is this about? That's from back in the day. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. Wow. I mean, that's pretty powerful from Larwin, right? I mean, that makes sense. I think it's powerful. Really cool. Ooh, the Mirari Conjecture. Uh, we did get two rares in that one. That was pretty nice. Uh, Mirari Conjecture from Dominaria. Powerful card in its time. A uh, whole lot of stuff going on there with the Saga. It's not going to go over at all, but really, really cool. And... Spell Morph Raise Dead. We will take it. Instant. Really cool. We got some pretty solid, uh, some solid pools here, I think. I don't know. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Spell Morph for one. You may cast this card face down as a 2 2 creature for three. Cast any time for it. Spell Morph cost. Really, really neat card there. These test prints, man. Really cool. I'm, I'm enjoying them. Let me know your thoughts on these test prints for sure. And, uh, yeah, where's that Ravnica pack? All right, let's just see what we get inside of this one. Just for fun. Just for fun. I'll tell you what. Um, whatever's inside of here, I'm just going to give it away. All right. Um, if you enjoy my content, I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. So, yeah, um, someone's going to take home everything inside of this. All you got to do, um, just give this video a share. It's really cool. MTG Mystery Packs. Not many people have seen these opened like this, you know. They've only seen pictures and stuff on the Internet, so really interesting. Um, give it a share. Give it a like. Uh, make sure you hit the bell button. And also comment below, man. Um, what's something funny for, or what, what do you like about, uh, just tell me what you like about magic. What do you like about magic? 
That's what I want to know. What's your favorite thing you, about Magic the Gathering? All right? And uh, whatever's inside of here, someone's taking all of it home. There you go. Thank you guys for 100,000 subs. Um, I'll be picking next week, by the way. So, all right. Let's have at it. Warkite Marauder. There you go. You get one of these. Aerial Knight of Windgrace. All right. That's too shabby. Cool, cool, too cool. Ugh, cool abilities on that card, though. Forest. You get. Oh, that. Those are really collectible, though. Um, these foil forests. He got into that. That is really sweet. Really cool. And oh, a foil steel leaf champion. Bam! Solid pool right there. Watch out, these mono green decks, man. This card right here is probably gonna be worth like five, ten bucks in a few weeks. Would not put it past it. Really, really neat. All right, there you guys have it, man. Thank you so much for 100,000 subs. Sorry the uh, live stream's not today for those who are looking forward to it. We're going to go ahead and do it on Tuesday, seven, eight, uh, se bet sometime between 7 and 8 o'clock start, um, Eastern Standard Time, and it's going to be a blast. Make sure you're there. Skadoosh!